Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation. 4 power 1 times 4 power 3 times 4 power 5 times all the way it goes to 4 power 2x minus 1 equal to 0 0.5 power negative 50 and x is greater than 0. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to take. Let's focus on the left hand side of this equation. And now let's recall this product rule of exponents. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So the left hand side could be written as 4 power 1 plus 3 plus 5. It goes all the way to 2x minus 1 equals to now let's focus on the right hand side this base 0 0.5 and here i have copied it down let's go ahead and put in a fraction so 0.5 could be written as 1 divided by 2 and then this 2 could be written as 2 power 1 so therefore i can write 1 divided by 2 power 1 and now let's go ahead and move this one to the top so this could be written as 2 power negative 1. So therefore, we are going to replace this uh, 0 0.5 as 2 power negative 1. The right hand side could be written as 2 power negative 1 whole power negative 50. And now let's recall this uh, power rule of exponents. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So the right hand side we can multiply out these two nested exponents. So this is same as writing 2 power positive 50. And the left hand side is same. And now let's focus on this uh, exponent, this whole thing. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall some of this arithmetic series. This uh, arithmetic series that takes care of the sum of the odd numbers that is equal to x square. So therefore, we're going to have a x square over here as well. And now you might be wondering how come we got this is equal to x square. Let me go ahead and justify this uh, pretty quick. And now let's recall this sum of uh, arithmetic series s of n equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2. It goes all the way to a sub n where a sub 1 is our very first term and a sub n is last term and this n is the total number of terms and here in our case 1 is our very first term and 2x minus 1 is our last term and the total number of terms over here are x. So therefore let's go ahead and apply this formula now on the left hand side. So this sum is going to be equal to total number of terms we got x divided by 2. Our very first term is 1 plus last term is 2x minus 1. And here we can see 1 and negative 1 this is gone. So we got x divided by 2 times 2x. Here 2 and 2 cancels out. So we ended up with the x times x is going to be x square. And now we can see this x square is same as this x square. So therefore we are going to replace this whole exponent by this x square. So the left hand side is going to become 4 power x square equals to 2 power 50. And now let's focus on this 4. 4 could be written as a 2 square. So therefore the left hand side is going to become 2 square and then whole power x square equals to 2 power 50. Now let's go ahead and apply this uh, power rule on the left hand side. So this could be written as 2 power 2x square equal to 2 power 50. And now we can see that we have the same basis on both sides which is 2. So therefore we can equate our exponents as well. So therefore we can write 2x square equals to 50. 
Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So we ended up with x squared equals to 25. Now let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this square. So therefore our x value turns out to be positive or negative 5. But we know that x must be greater than 0. So therefore we are going to pick the positive value of x that is going to be positive 5. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to positive 5. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.